Not a good choice. You've got to make it. Because it's a sitting duck. Because <laughs> <laughs> Um, he's a bit lucky, which I must have guessed. Yeah, there you go. Should have moved that one. Yeah, but the thing is, you don't know what the next roll of the dog is. <laughs> yeah, I know what it is. It's going to be rubbish. <laughs> because they don't know no what name. the name is anymore. Oh, right. And it is a game combination of um, skill and luck. Because mm. of course you've got the, well they're four sided die. Um, and the roll of the die lets you know, because we start off with one side with the white, one side with the black. And you can only turn one over to a cross if you roll a double. It's not unusual for a game not to have a name, because games yeah. always have a name, don't they? Um, well, it used to have one. Um, people um, remember how to play it, and um, um, how it looks and everything like that. It's just uh, those, uh, time went on and they forgot what it was called. Like, there's no record of what it was actually called. Yeah, so people so, just... Yeah, yeah, no, we got to play it and over it again. <laughs> it's a dragon! that just sits in there. Then you have um, just a little pouch with the pieces in. So on your downtime, when you're actually at war at night, you can actually play things like like this. Yeah, because it takes virtually game. no room. Yeah. So and all it is, is these are just marked out with the, the moose. This game's called Al Kirk, it's a full runner of checkers. And this one, you move along the lines. They play night things like Nine Man's Morris in that period as well. The, that's where the start of that was. Um, and a few other games like that. that. This one is a solitaire game. Mm. But that would have been harder to carry because it's wood. Yeah. As with this. So they would have been more likely to take a leathered version because, as I say, that fits perfectly in yeah, the does. pouch. Yeah, it does. It last a long time. Yeah, they do. Well, we... This... Well, this one is itself, we've had this for about 15 years. Sure, it's a long time, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So they mark it out in whatever way that they can mark it's it cool, out. It proves that they're much better than today's computers games, for this way. You have more fun with them. You have to have electric with them. <laughs> and the thing is, is that you, you can get competitive with any game, of yeah. course. And if you're on a camp with a bunch of soldiers, you can imagine that they would have been laying bets yeah. on who was going to win. Um, this one, the reason why we're playing this is because my brain is not working today, <laughs> so I'm no good at our cook. What but, year is this, would you say? Pardon? What year? These, well, this one, our cook is... Uh, that's 14th century, uh, from 14th century French game. And yeah. there's evidence of this one from about the 11th, isn't there? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so about the 11th oh. century. So that was used for centuries. Yeah, because you'll find some, a lot of things would have evolved and everything mm. like that. It's like the clothing, um, the dress I'm wearing, the pattern has evolved in slightly different forms. Like you have a sleeve, sleeve down here in different eras, or you'd have lacing down the front. So things would change just a little lot like today when we things change really quickly. That could take a couple of hundred years. So things would stay popular for quite a long period of time. Yeah. So, yeah. so is the rules confusing about that game, though? No, this this one's really easy. So basically, you start with 
black down one side, white down one side. You roll each to see who goes first, highest roll goes first, and then you have to roll a double to open a man. So once you, because the men's all start like that, once you roll the double you have to open the first man out, you turn it so that's one move, and if you'd rolled five, like a six, you'd move one, two, three, four, five, because you used your first move. But you don't have to open a man if you don't want to. If you can take a man down here in an already open man, you can actually do that, so you're not restricted to having to open anything up. So, it, and basically you just keep going until either somebody concedes or gets the last man taken. Usually we end up conceding unless he gets really stubborn and decides I'm not going down, I only have one man and I'm just oh, keeping on going. Yeah. <laughs> Which he does do. <laughs> but it, oh, you would have found on camp if they were playing things like that and you were in that situation, you could technically still, if you got the right roll of the dice, still win with one man when the other guy's got four. It's just the right roll of the dice. Mm. So if there's money on the game from the rest of the soldiers, you for hours then. Go on for, can go on for hours then. Hours um, and hours. We actually have, I think we've had one go for about an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have. I think it was the first or second one. And now we're getting a bit more tactical. And I think it, it's like any game. If you don't know the tactics, it's going to take mm. you longer unless yeah. the other person does and then they just annihilate you. But and when you think about it, of course, it's most of these games, they're all about tactics. And of course, when you're doing warfare, mm -hmm. it's all about tactics, like chess. Yes. Yeah. Chess, yeah, checkers, drafts, it, all tactics. So this would sort of way keep the mind sharp while you weren't able to actually fight. It's interesting to see the dice is lob oblong instead of the yeah. long square dice, isn't it? Because dice have evolved in all sorts of ways, but you still have the, the square Numbers. dice. You still, because we, we do have some bone dice that are square dice. And so they had all sorts of dice made from bone, from wood, and all different shapes. Yeah. So it's a confusing game, do not it? <laughs> You'd have to have... I mean, it took a long, long time to explain the rules of it. I can't understand chess. I'm not good at chess. I'm not good at chess. I tried it. It's just confusing me, chess. Yeah. Drafts, drafts, yes, chess. So you'd be good at with Al Kirk then, because it's a full runner of drafts. I'll but tell you what, I'll concede. A new chess, uh, an older version of chessboard. Yeah, so that's a visor team. So you see, chess evolved. It's like you've got half tap or the other. There's a round one before, then. Yeah, there's multiple different types, and we've only just discovered this one ourselves, to be honest. With be and one of our other archers has been playing it with Andy, who is a trainee archer, basically. <laughs> That sounds uh, that looked like a confusing game already. Well, the thing, I've not played it yet, so I can't say much about it. But you set it up similarly, but you've got your sides. So white is on one side and black is on the other. And if you set that side up, Andy. Mm -hmm. See, he's still learning it. But you have your pawns go on each side and then and I always put the king on the wrong side on whatever twist yeah. there you go so that's the queen no that's the king that's the king yep. stop knocking over pieces <laughs> So bishops are together, yep. rooks are together, and the horses are together. And basically the moves are the same, except you're going around the board. And so if you're, like, you know the bishop, you can go from one end of the board basically to mm -hmm. the other. Of course now you can't do that, because no. you can only go that many spaces and then up to there. And then so it actually halves what the bishop can do. They can they still do all the same directions, the same moves, so the knights still jump and still do the L shape. But it also means that if you're in a position if you can get keep both your rooks and you have one on one line and one on another and you've got the king on check in this one, the king's checkmate 
date unless there's yes. something you do got to clear. So if you say had your king, his king was here, you do check mate because these there's nothing in between. He can't move forward. He can't move back. Either way, and this guy he could be over here if there was. He'd be over there if there's nothing here. He's still in checkmate, even if you're on the whole other side of the board. Depends on what direction it is. That's how Andy won a game last night. Yeah. But he is still learning. Do you want to have a go at it? Yeah. I couldn't understand the basic of chess. <laughs> I couldn't understand that one. But it's a nice, you... interesting setup, though, isn't it? To... What is it different? No, no, you've got your knights in the wrong place. Yeah, you put your knights in the wrong place. What are you doing? <laughs> the knights always go next to the rooks. I'm trying to confuse you as well. He play, plays chess more than I do. I was in chess club as a kid. He wasn't. And I stopped playing chess when I was a kid. He didn't. He kept playing. What's that one called? Just chess? Is, it is uh, Byzantine, Byzantine chess. Is it Byzantine chess? Hmm. Yeah. Well, you didn't need It was basically after the era. It really is, it's the Byzantine era. So it's, it's from that period. So you can see that chess in itself has evolved in so many ways. Yeah. But with all of these, what do you want? Obviously, this version didn't catch on then. If it changed it to a square one. Well, that's why he was looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's the thing. It, I think it might have been, if you look at it, if you look at a square board, it simplifies it a bit. Mm. So a lot of games you'll find some of them have simplified, like the original yeah. square chess is simplified going down by four rocks. Um, give me that. So it's gone down by four pawns plus four other pieces. No, it's two different types. Which I know there's one thing, the shape of it is the shape of the um, shield. The yeah. shield. Yeah. That's what I'm remembering what it looks like. Actually, Dave, he's very good. Dave's giving a talk now, and he'll talk about the way different uses we have for things. Like, we have kettle helms, and we use that to cook it as well. You know, there's a lot of stuff that you use. You might have even marked up a shield or marked up something with it, just to make it so that things were, had multiple uses. But, you know, basically, with the games, they are, it's downtime, we're not fighting right now, let's crack on and have a game and get competitive and keep the mind sharp. Yeah, yeah so with this, you'd be actually, these pawns will be going that way, these pawns will be going that way. So you're attacking on both sides. Yeah. yeah. Both sides. Yeah, That's so... Right. Mm. Yeah. What was the centre though mainly? Just nothing, is it the centre? The centre part? is just there. Mm. There's, there's nothing goes in the centre. Mm. So it's it's basically I think just, well you can't really take these right to the centre. <laughs> but yeah, it's basically just so an adventure I'm on both sides, so like the first one to take them out like all of them. Yeah, because you, if you do both sides, then you've got to think of both sides. Because mm. you know, in a normal chessboard, you're just thinking in the centre. But here, you've got to think of sides. Yeah. So. I, went, I, went, I probably got. I wonder if it was because it got too complex that it didn't take off. Like, you know, when it changed to a square one. Yeah, maybe and it simplified could be regional it. things as well. Because you'll find that you, that's like the name. This this game, the game with no name. Um, there are variations in different regions. There's smaller versions, there's longer versions. Um, so it's not just the one version of it. That's part of the reason why nobody can actually pinpoint the name of the game. Yeah. It's like the, I think I find the, the most plain, simple ideas are these designs. Yeah. Are more cooler and interesting to look at mm. than yeah. the complex ones yeah. because the rules are still difficult mm. it's still going to be complex it's not going to be just straightforward and the thing is is if you've got two people playing these that are the same level you can yeah. you, you will build up your level together yeah, well, you if, if, if they've been too easy the game will be over in five minutes yeah. and then they'll be bored even more when they're camped yeah, so i think exactly. they made them as complex as possible yeah. to drag it on through the night and there's hidden complexities with it and that's mm. the thing and that's what makes them more interesting. It's going to be in the bottom of the bag. Yeah. Yeah. And as I say, you can see how simple that would be to carry in a pouch. It looks like a draft, we don't it? Yeah. Just yeah. And so Andy goes first, and because he's moved, I have to take his man. 
anyway because there's no space but he has to take that one even though he could have moved those forward and now there's nothing I can take so I have to decide what direction I'm going to go in that's the safest for me and I like that move so I've not opened anything up for him to take on that so you can't take from the sides only in the middle you see you're leaning well yeah because you can only go along the lines and so I've protected mm. all my men from his men so now he has to figure out where he wants to, to go from there and try and keep your men protected for as long as you can what do you call that game? Alkirk Oh, oh, cool. So it's A-L-Q-U-E, Q-U-E, Andy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, A-L-Q-U-E-R-Q-U-E. Q-U-E-R-Q-U-E. That's a weird name, you spell them, don't they? Oh, they don't make them easy, like dragons. Sounds like French. Oh. It's probably a... a, a, a what's that? Mm. Oh, ale. <laughs> not British, ale. so it's not a British game, then. <laughs> With a name like Al Kirk, I'd say it's probably more continental. Than yeah, it's, it's, it's French. Yeah, yes. French. Didn't British so. do any British ones at all? Any British versions? They would be. Don't live too long, games. Then, probably. Because the thing is, is if you look at it like the game that have no name, that has multiple origins. Yeah. That's why. So, it's there would have been a British version, or probably a continental version, and like we know that Viking um, have tackles Viking, but you've got to remember that Vikings came to Britain, and despite popular belief, they weren't just raping and pillaging, because they brought women and uh, take his man. There. and he can take my man and then I have to take his man here and he hasn't got prepared to take another man but yeah there's so there's multiple variations on some games you will find some of them are British but we in all honesty are still learning the game so when we see games we grab them we try to learn them try and find out a bit more about them because we know that's basically what they would have done in the camps yeah yeah so he has a habit of making putting himself in my way so that I have to take his man and me forgetting and Mm. Mm. Thinking a long time. That's one thing, if you can take two men, as long as you take one of them, you don't lose your man. Mm. I think I don't think it's playing to his full ability so that it doesn't go too long for you. <laughs> What's the name of this, this group? Cosmeston. It's the um, Cosmos and Manor Archers, yeah. Basically, we started at Cosmos and Yeah, they don't do any more down there, do they? No, obviously. sadly not. It would have been nice if they did, but no, they don't. I don't know why they That's won't. where we met. Yeah, I don't know why they won't, really, because it used to be proper years ago. It'd be yeah. more crowds of people, and that's what they want. Yeah, I think they've more turned it, we've been told more turned it into a wedding venue. Castle, it no? used to be absolutely packed yeah. on bank holiday weekends. It was packed. It's this is what I say about Cardiff Castle. They used to do the jousting events, medieval events, mm. quite often. Now they stopped there. And they do what they do in um, cinema or in concert shows instead there, which is ridiculous yeah. because there's more money for them. There's also less money on um, having people in. Mm. Well, I really bug it up there, didn't I? <laughs> I did not do well then. Because <laughs> he's also now going to take advantage of the fact that I'm talking to you. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. You've got backwards, can you as well? Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's when you get to that end line, you can't. I have a tendency of not taking my man over there because then I know I can't move them. That's a clever version of trust. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I like about it because I do. I tend to keep my man as I'd more play a more defensive version, and he plays a more aggressive. You know, it's like it's like a trick trick game. So you think you're going for it, and you go double back and capture him. Mm. But here, of course, he's got so he can take my man. But I've also stopped him from going forward. And they're stopping him from getting to there. But he's taking it easy on me this time. Because <laughs> I am not playing my best today. But it, the rules are, as I say, they're slightly different. But there were games that we still play now that they play like My Man's Mars. It's, it's got a lot of old, it's a very old origins with that. Again, you see, he's a more aggressive player, a more defensive player. Now he's getting worried that it'll look like he's really bad. Because <laughs> he's been easy on me so far. We need a chess timer. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, yeah, so you're doing it, put a timer to it, innit? So see, I had no choice but to take yeah. his man then. Then you force him to jump and then you jump them. That's what I would do with drafts. Yeah, you can. Depends that like, you've got to be careful <laughs> to do what I do and let him jump about four men at a time because I've forgotten. Mm. But he can move about, which I have a tendency to do. So here, if I force him to jump here, then yeah, I could take his man either way. Actually, I won't do that. We'll see what happens if I do that. So he's going to take two. So I wasn't watching where else he could go. <laughs> and that's the thing, you've got to, when you yeah. force them to jump, you've got to be careful that you're making sure that they can't jump on from where yeah. you've gone. And that's the thing that I have a habit of forgetting. Yeah, so <laughs> trick is to uh, try and do something uh, that your pawn's not going to expect you uh, yeah. to do. Yeah. And to set them up the same way as you would in any other game, like, you know, um, noughts and crosses even, you know, you set it up so that you can win because you've got two on one bit and two on another. 
hands, and no matter where they put their cross, you win. Is there a, a rules or instructions on the internet about how you play this game? Yeah, there is. Yeah. You've got to type in that name. Yeah. If you type that in, there's loads of rules on the internet on how to play it. And there's a bit of information about the history and everything as well. So Al Kirk, if you want to look it up. So A L Q U E R Q U E. Yep. So, so yeah. as you filmed it or, or no videos on it at all? There may be, but I haven't really looked at the, the videos. I sort of more do so read what it is. This video will I'm sure that will be the first one to do it then. Possibly. We don't know well. No, it might be. <laughs> it. it might be. So see if any of them would like to ask him what's this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say it's, new, it's the older version of drafts. Yeah, because that's basically what it is, it's yeah. a forerunner of drafts. It's much better though, to, 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 you can make go front back and everything without even yeah. getting conned. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot more thinking. There is a lot more thinking to it. It's similar to um, chess, you said. Yeah. But without yeah. all the fancy names. Oh, it's because they're all strategical games yeah. and that's the thing because they're strategical games and a lot of them designed that way because you know you use it in in warfare people who are more to downtime and keep their minds sharp about what they've got to do you have to move out and help you jump in it oh, mm. yeah. mm. I'm sure he's going to beat me because I'm not playing my best today. See, when you do go to the other end, it's always best to go into the corner because then you can't be jumped. Yeah. yeah. But then you're stuck and you can't move back then, you said? Yeah, you can't move back once you've gone forward. But say if he moves this man next... Which uh, I'm not going to do because that's being uh, one of the stupidest moves I can do. <laughs> oh, that's just, right. If I do that, I'll just give you two free men. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Got <laughs> <laughs> one safe. Yeah, he's got one safe. Okay. So now he can do that because I can't move that man out. Mm. So he is. Is that free. the aim of the game, to try and get to the other side? Yeah. Yep. That is the aim of the game, yeah. Just to try and get to the other side. And try and get more of your pieces over there than yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Oh, I be back and forth, staying in the middle all day. So I can go back there because he can't come back out and take two of my men. Mm. But it frees it up for him to go through. Ooh. I don't think that was the best move I made then. <laughs> and of course, because I moved there, you think, oh, I'll keep my man safe by going that way, but it won't actually, because I'm not allowed to move back to the next square that I was in. So I have to move something else. Can move forward now because you can't jump through anyway. See, I could move this one back. Move oh, that one. Oh my God, get there. But if I move that one forward, he, he takes my man. Jump way, yep, because there's a line there, he can take that man. So I could move along this line and just play that game. Mm. But then it doesn't really give you any benefit. If I move this one forward, he's going to take me whichever way I go. Mm. And this one, he's going to take me there. Because he has to take me that one. I'm not technically stuck because I can move that one or that one. But that's the only choices I really have. And it's whether or not they're a wise choice. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to move that one. 
Let's see what it says. Soup. Leek and potato. Amelie's. Mm. I like minestrone, but not as much as leek and potato. Right. At this point, if I move this man, if I protect this man, I lose this, lose that man. If I move this man, he can still go back and take my man. So whichever way I go, I'm going to lose a man. Because of course, if I take him that way, he's going to take him that way and then take that man as well. So again, looking at the strategy, so if I leave that there and move this, he's just going to go boom, 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 and I'm one man over, and he's won the game. Yeah. So I'm really stuck between a rock and a hard place right here. <laughs> I'm going to lose a man no matter what I do. I'm going to lose a man. I think my only real choice here is to concede. Oh, go on, let me take it Okay, I'll show you what happens if I go up there. Okay, I've got, I've got one move at the time, is it? Yeah. No, it's yeah. yeah. Okay, you were stuck anywhere where you go anyway. Yeah, but yeah. I had a trap. Yeah. Oh, he had me completely <laughs> trapped. So no matter what I did, yeah. he had me. Because so if I then move this I forward, that one yeah. there, that one he, there. and yeah. he's got both. Well, I can't, yeah. do, the, I can't yeah. do that one. Oh, you can't yeah. do that one, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. you tossed. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gone.